بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم زیارت means to visit it is also applied to the way a mu'min addresses the ahlul bayt alayhim assalam zair is the visitor or the person reciting the ziyarat for aba abdullah al husain alayhi salam more than 80 ziyarat have been reported for no other ma'soom so many ziyarat are reported among them is the famous ziyarat ashura this ziyarat can be recited from near that is in the sacred shrine of aba abdullah alayhi salam and from far unlike all other ziyarat that are reported from masumin alayhi salam ziyarat ashura is a hadith al qudsi that is the aim alayhi salam have reported from the holy prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam and to him it was revealed by allah tbarak wa taala through the trusted jibril alayhi salam in addition imam sadiq alayhi salam has said one who recites ziyarat ashura and the dua after it His ziyarat is accepted before Allah. His dua granted. He will be assigned the heaven and his shafaat for others will be accepted. Al-Qama reports that Imam Baqir alayhi salam has said, If you can address Aba Abdullah al-Husayn alayhi salam with this ziyarat, you will benefit from it every reward inshallah ta'ala reciting this ziyarat regularly has its special grace and effects so much so that your friends and neighbors too benefit from the divine blessings by you reciting it in the same report imam alayhi salam has said O Safwan whenever you have a wish recite this ziyarat and the dua after it then ask Allah jalla wa ala your wish will be granted the almighty Allah never turns away from his promise of generosity and forgiveness to his prophet and all praise belongs to Allah In brief no matter how much we talk about this great ziyarat it's little but it must not be forgotten that the condition to achieve the results is perceiving its contents and being in line with it The founder of Hawza Ilmi of Qum marhum Ayatullah Al Uzma Sheikh Abdul Karim Ha'iri reports when I was studying in Samarra due to cholera and plague people were dying every day in large numbers a group of ulama came to my ustad ayatullah sayyid muhammad tabatabai fisharaki there ayatullah al uzma mirza muhammad taqi shirazi came The issue of the disaster was brought up. Ayatullah Mirza Shirazi said, "If I decree, do you think it is obligatory for you to abide by it?" Everyone answered, "Yes." He said, "I order the Shias in Samarra to recite Ziyarat Ashura for 10 days." and its reward to be dedicated to Hazrat Najis alayhi salam the mother of Imam Mahdi alayhi salam so that this affliction upon us is removed 
the people were informed and everyone recited from the next day no one from among the shias died association with ziyarat ashura requires purity of heart deeds and actions association with ziyarat ashura requires compatibility with the aims and desires of Aba Abdullah al-Hussein alayhi salam Enlightenment through Ziyarat Ashura requires pure spiritual and material sustenance Ziyarat Ashura aligns one's heart with one's faith which is the best relationship of an individual with his religion Ziyarat Ashura grants separation from the valley of darkness hatred to the oppressors the accursed and declared segregation with the enemies of Allah his apostle and the Ahlul Bayt alayhim assalam Ziyarat Ashura is a slogan which creates and directs the zaer and teaches him to be with the right and the righteous it strengthens the bond of friendship with ahlul bayt and hatred towards their enemies in brief ziyarat ashura is a crash course of love and hate and clearly shows the two paths of right and wrong ziyarat ashura strengthens our belief in tawhid and the resurrection barzakh qiyama and shifa it teaches us that without wilaya tawhid that is oneness of allah tbarak wa taala is misunderstood the almighty allah has said كلمه لا اله الا الله حسني فمن دخل حسني امن من عذابي the word la ilaha illallah there is no god but allah is my fortress whosoever enters my fortress will be protected from my wrath imam rida alayhi salatu wassalam has said bisharatiha wa shurutiha wa ana min shurutiha with its condition and conditions and i am its condition like all other ziyarat the zaer extends his allegiance with the masoom imam a pact of obedience and friendship with him and hatred with his enemies he constantly reminds himself of the life in the hereafter in brief ashura is a book of knowing the imam a reflection of love and hate tawalla and tabarra which is the first lesson of tawhid and that is to abandon shaitan in all forms and in all fronts ziyarat ashura opens with the salam to aba abdullah al hussein alayhi salam introduces him continues describing the great tragedy which follows by cursing the four groups one the founder members of oppression on the imams two those who deprived the imam from their rightful authority three those who martyred them and four those who prepared the battle with ahlul bayt alayhim assalam then by declaring hatred and enmity to them the zaer says inni salmun liman salamakum وحرب لمن حاربكم الى يوم القيامه certainly 
I am in peace with him who is in peace with you and in war with him who is in war with you. It then lists the founders of oppression and teaches that hatred and curses to the dynasty of Bani Umayya and Marwan is not restricted to the few days before and after the tragedy of Karbala. It is an ongoing oppression. The Zair then concludes with his desire and his association of being with the Imam, the Divine Mercy, both in this world and the hereafter, which is the mighty achievement. Imam al-Asr Ajjalallahu Ta'ala Farajahu Sharif to Had Sayyid Ahmad Rashti says, Why do you not recite Ashura, Ashura, Ashura? Assalamu alayka ya Aba Abdillah wa ala al-arwah allati hallat bifanaik alayka minni salamu Allah abadam ma baqeet wa baqiya al-layl wa al-nahar wa la ja'alahu Allah akhir al-aad minni liziyaratikum السلام على الحسين وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى أولاد الحسين وعلى أصحاب الحسين اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم Oh.